Hello, everyone, and welcome to the VMUG year in review, as well as a peek forward to 2023. My name is Brad Tompkins, and I'm the executive director of VMUG, and welcome to the program. So some big news this year, as you all know, user cons were back in person. We saw over 5,000 people attend user cons all over the globe. And yes, the question always comes up, which one is the biggest? So I'll cut to the chase. The Netherlands is the biggest user con in the world. They had nearly 400 people at their user con, which is pretty amazing. If you're curious about two and three, well, I'll tell you that too. Germany came in at number two. And Casey and Dallas were right just under 250 users, and they came in at number three as well. So from a North America perspective, Casey and Dallas is the ones to be. From a global perspective, it is the Netherlands once again. Shout out to Belgium. They are our newest user con. They had their first one in 2022. I was at that event. It was a great event. Nice work by Christoph and team pulling that together. It's always nice to see additional user cons come into the fold. Well, it's no doubt that the biggest news this year was, of course, the Broadcom announcement of acquiring VMware. Of course, that hasn't been finalized yet, but it is looking to be finalized this year. When that news hit, obviously there was a lot of people that had some opinions on it and uh, Twitter was very active for a, for a few days and weeks after that. But I think now things have calmed down a little bit and people are just wanting to know, what, what does this mean for me? What does this mean for my job, my career, my company, my tech stack that I'm currently using? Well, a lot of those answers we don't know yet, but I can tell you this, VMUG and Broadcom have got ongoing dialogue and we meet with them and we want to be a communication conduit for them. And so it's been great working with them. You've noticed the open letter from Hoctan to the VMUG audience. Uh, there's been some other uh, blogs that Hoctan has written that we have amplified and those sort of things. So you know that VMUG is your source for news on what the Broadcom announcement is going to mean. So make sure you are staying up to date. Make sure you're all your information on your profiles up to date so we know how to get you in when we're sending out communication. I'll say this, I do think that the due diligence that Broadcom is doing is very impressive. They also really understand the VMware customer and they're continuing to learn that. And the reason I think that's important is coming from a traditionally hardware manufacturer, you know, it's a different type of business. It's more B2B and that sort of thing. Now you're selling software and I know they have Symantec and CA technology. So they're not new to this and they've learned from those things. So now they're taking on a huge company like VMware, and they've learned a lot from the previous software acquisitions, and they know that selling to software to individuals and the individual companies is different than the hardware side. So I think that's a good thing that they understand that, and they want to understand that even more and more. And again, that's why it's great that Broadcom and VMUG have ongoing dialogue, and I'm looking forward to what the future is going to mean when this acquisition comes together. All right, some other things going on is events came back, major events came back. VMUG was at uh, Dell Tech World, and that was a great event. I think the biggest takeaway for me on that, I was really surprised, um, maybe surprise isn't the right word, but I was really it was interesting to me that AWS was mentioned on main stage at Dell Tech World. Now, let's let that thing sink in a little bit. Here you've got Dell, which is obviously you know, an on-prem type provider. Yes, they've got some Apex and some as-a-service type offerings, but you know, they're, they're interested in selling hardware to, to individual companies. Talking about how they utilize AWS, and it wasn't a big mention, but the fact that it was there should signal to you that multi-cloud's coming. Multi-cloud is coming and you need to get prepared for that. I know some will say it's already here and that may be true for some of the folks that are on the bleeding edge, cutting edge, those sort of things. But the majority of members, in fact, we did a survey, and over 70% of our VMUG members said that they are going to be looking at the cloud in 12 months or later. So that's, um, that's a ways away. Obviously, you need to get prepared for it and understand what's coming. But that was my big takeaway from Dell Tech World. And of course, our beloved VMworld, oh, excuse me, Explore was back, which was great to see it both in San Francisco and in Barcelona. So great to see everybody there. Interesting, Hot Tan was in San Fran. They gave him a little shout out from the stage, so that was good. Uh, I, I think that being at that event, you really understand what it means to the community. Uh, yes, there's technical content there and there's all sorts of good things to do, but we are a tight-knit community. And I, I really think that came through 
with Hawk and other Broadcom people being there. And that is also important when you think about Barcelona. That was even a bigger event. There was more buzz going on there at Barcelona. And, and yes, BMUG has a huge presence at both of those, and we will going forward as well. Uh, as you may know, VMware Explore Twitter handle tweeted out about 2023. So they did say they're going to have something in 2023. Uh, rumor is it's leaving San Fran and going to Las Vegas. And so my opinion, wherever they want to have, it's fine with me. I hope they do both of them, one in NORAM and one in Europe, and let's keep that cadence going. So more to come on that. You can uh, follow VMware Explore on Twitter for that one if you want to find out what's going on from that. Major announcements from Explore. I think the biggest one was vSphere 8 and vSAN 8. Yes, there was a ton of announcements, and I know there's a lot of cutting edge and future stuff that was announced and now that has been in G8. But I think for the core VMUG member, it's still what is vSphere doing? Now, what's interesting about the vSphere piece of it is it's really laying the foundation for your multi-cloud strategy. And so you don't have to leave the familiar confines of the UI that you know. Continue to stick with vSphere. It's a vSphere and story. It's not dump vSphere, go somewhere else. It's take vSphere and that can get you everywhere you want to go. Things that they're adding for vSphere and the, the, the new features that they're putting in, it really sets you up to be in good shape for multi-cloud whenever you choose to go there, if you choose to go there. Again, multi-cloud can be an option that you choose not to take, but with the new advances in vSphere and vSAN and what VMware is doing, it allows you to take advantage of that should you need it. So speaking of advantage, you notice I got my advantage shirt on today. VMUG Advantage was a great program for VMUG this year. We have over 12,000 Advantage members. Of course, we've got vSphere 8, speaking of, in Advantage in our eval experience. If you're not fam familiar with Advantage, that uh, sits on top of your free VMUG membership. That's right, VMUG membership is free. Go to vmug.com slash join and you can Give us some information and you can become a free member. If you want Advantage, what you have to do is you do have to pay 200 US dollars a year. You get 20 to 35% training uh, discounts on training and certifications. You also get eval experience. That's nearly all the VMware software that you can get on a 365 day uh, license, home lab only, not for production. But think about that. In your home lab, you can run vSphere 8, you can run NSXT, vSAN, SRM, Horizon, Workstation, be realized. There are so many different things in there that you can run. It's a great way to get educated. It's a great way to try something in dev before you do it in production. So it's a fantastic program. People love it once, once they're in there. So the discount code, there's all kinds of discount codes out there. And we all joke that friends don't let friends pay full price for VMUG Advantage. You're going to have to work for it. You have to DM me. I'll give you a discount code. Talk to a VMUG leader. Heck, you could probably research it on a Reddit or on Twitter somewhere. The discounts codes are going to be changing, some of them for 2023. So keep that in mind. My DM is open. It's at Brad Tompkins underscore, at Brad Tompkins underscore on Twitter. DM's open. You don't even have to follow me, and I can get you a code if you want it. So there's your homework for today. Another thing that you can do to get involved in VMUG is call for content. We're always looking for peer presenters to, to speak. So if you're out there and you're an end user and you just did a project, it doesn't matter if it's upgrading to the latest vSphere. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to be modern apps. It doesn't have to be talking about your CI CD pipeline. It could be some of the most basic things that people are still doing every day. Put that in the call for content. All you need is an abstract and a title. Now, if you get selected for a user con, then you can build it out then. And we can even help you build it out. But I encourage you to put this out there. And if you're worried, well, what if I get picked for a user con and I can't go or I don't have the funds to go? Vima can pay to get a community speaker to a different user con. So that's a great way to give back to the community. It's a great resume booster. Imagine going to your boss saying, hey, I'm, I'm, somebody's paying me to fly out to Seattle, let's say, to go do a talk on what we're doing in our production. So that's a great resume booster. It's an awesome thing to do. So I encourage everybody to do call for content. So what are some of the news that's going on? Our good friend Sanjay Poonin was uh, hired and announced as Cohesity CEO. I got to catch up with him at VMworld in San Francisco. And it's always good to talk to somebody who's such a big proponent of the community. So Sanjay, good chatting with you and look forward to seeing what you and Mohit are going to continue to do with Cohesity. 
Of course, Twitter was bought by Elon Musk, and that we're still figuring out what all that's going to mean, but that was certainly some of the big tech news out there. Uh, bringing it back to VMUG in December, we did the Leader Summit. So this is where we brought and, roughly 150 leaders and VMUG employees to Lisbon. And for two days, we had good conversations about what 2023 is going to be. How do we bounce back from a pandemic? What, what do we need from a skill set perspective? And I just really appreciate all the folks that attended. They, a lot of them came from far away. And we had a great time. Uh, good speakers there with uh, Joe Bagley, Frank Deneman, Duncan Epping, uh, Cormac Hogan, just a lot of good speakers there. Scott Lowe was there, and uh, it was good to see him again. He's a big proponent of the V community as well. So an awesome Leader Summit. If you're interested in becoming a leader for VMUG, reach out to member services at vmug.com or talk to your local leader. We can get you plugged in. There's some training involved in that, so it's a good career development as well. So that was something that happened in December. And Argentina won the World Cup in December as well. So that was a lot of activity going on in Portugal while we were there with the World Cup going. Portugal was playing while we were there. So that was a lot of fun to see it in a native country. But congratulations to Argentina. So I want to say thank you to a couple of outboard, outgoing board members. First of all, Steve Athanas. Steve Athanas, of course, was president in 2021. And he is rolling off the board. He was sitting as past president for this 2022 term. So he's off the board. Steve, thanks for all your work that you've done throughout the years. And Dave Sandberg. Dave Sandberg was a director on the board, and his term has ended as well. So we just thank both of those gentlemen. In 2022, we also say goodbye to our regional champions that concluded their term. This is Frankie, Richard, Nathan, Tony, Celia, and Russ. Thank you so much for all that you have done for the past two years for the community. And we welcome the new regional champions coming in, Dustin, Travis, Eric, Tony, Elizabeth, Pratik, and Patrick. We know that you will follow in the footsteps of your previous RCLs and do great things for the community. And we look forward to working with you. And if you know the RCLs, the regional champion leaders, um, that's great. Make sure you continue that relationship. If you don't, I encourage you to get to know them, follow them on Twitter, interact with them. They are a great resource out in the community to help you get the most out of VMUG. I also wanna say thanks to our sponsors. Of course, without our sponsors, VMUG couldn't do everything that we do and we couldn't do it at the price point that we do it. As you know, most user cons are free and membership is free and those kind of things. So I wanna thank our program sponsor, VMware. They spend a tremendous amount of time and energy sending keynote speakers and session speakers and managing home labs for us, or hands-on labs, excuse me, at our user cons. So many thanks to them. And that is powered and led by Gene Williams and Eric Nielsen. So thanks to you both for all the work that you've done for VMUG. Also want to thank our sponsors, Dell Technologies. They are a big sponsor of ours, and we appreciate all that they do. And then our elite sponsors, uh, Veeam, Control Up, and Oracle. So thanks so much. Obviously, we have many other sponsors and vendors that are a part of the V community, and we appreciate each and every one of you and looking forward to a great 2023. So as we look to 2023, we've got action packed and a lot of things going on. There's 29 different user cons that are happening. And what's interesting is in March alone, we're gonna be on three different continents. That's right. Of course, we'll be in NORAM. We've got two in APJ. And we also have the Netherlands user con that's gonna be in Denbosch. So we'll see if they can break their record of last year uh, of attendance, but also, Keep the reins of the largest user con in the world. So it's great. We're going to be all over the place. Of course, we've got virtual offerings as well for you. So I encourage you to make sure that your profile is up to date. Again, VMUG membership is free. Go to vmug.com slash join. You can become a free member. If you want Advantage to get all of those additional benefits, look for that discount code. You can DM me for that or talk to a VMUG leader. You could even email advantage at vmug.com. I'm sure they'll share it with you as well. So thanks everybody for a fantastic 2022. It was really uh, just great to see everybody out and about in all these different cities that I was fortunate enough to go to. Look forward to doing it again in 2023. So everyone have a safe, happy new year, and I look forward to seeing you in 2023.